Alright, if you've been keeping up with the Jump Force news, you would know there are 5 DLC characters for Jump Force DLC Season 2 within the game's files right now, and if you are a loyal viewer, you would also know that that doesn't mean we're only going to get 5 characters. If you want to know why, I explain everything in a video specifically for that topic. But what if, what if? We are only going to get these five characters for season two. What would a DLC roster of five characters look like? Well, there are many possibilities, so let's go over each plausible possibility. First is the roster based off popular requests. This, I would say, is a roster that most people would want because like I said, it's full of popular characters. We know one of these characters is Todoroki, so that leaves us with four characters that we don't know about. So who would these four be? Well, by the logic of popularity with requests, it would be extremely likely that we would see Jorno, Hiei, Yuno, and maybe Muriam, unless they want a female character, we could see P2, even though she has a fan base who thinks she's a guy, or we could possibly get Captain Yami if they want two Black Clover reps. Now, I really doubt more than one new series is going to be in the game for DLC, and if we actually got a new series in the game, then the last spot would most likely be Tanjiro. Demon Slayer has become their most profitable franchise, beating the three cover series, Naruto, Dragon Ball, and One Piece, in franchise profits. Not manga profits, franchise profits, which means everything for this year so i don't think any new series stands a chance so unfortunately that means no suna or koro sensei now the next possibility is the three cover series will each have one character added to the game just like in season one now if we use the popular request rule this would look something like teen gohan katakuri and maybe obito the naruto rep is the hardest to pinpoint since super popular requests like pain and itachi are pretty much confirmed by their gear this leaves us with one character since Todoroki is also on the list and if we're going by popularity that would have to be Jorno even though I would personally want you know although they could see Black Clover and Boruto as the new generation series that need representation so we could see you know and then the Naruto rep could go to a Boruto character like Mitsuki or Sarada most likely Sarada because she's a female and people who don't watch or read Boruto don't really know about Mitsuki, although my personal choice would be Mitsuki. I also made a whole video about why Mitsuki is better, so go check that out. But what if they don't go by popularity? Well then we could see very random characters from each of the three series. I would think that at least one of them would get a female character, so we could see Android 18 or maybe even Sakura or Hinata. But if I were to guess, we would probably get Gotenks, Katakuri, and Sakura. I think the developers would choose Sakura over Hinata because, well, they're weird like that. And also, she's the main female character of the Naruto series, even though she isn't the most liked. As for the one other character that might actually end up being a Bleach character again, even though they have more characters than any other non-cover series in the game. Then there's the possibility that Season 2 could be used for simple promotion. Once Justice 2 is coming out soon, so Todoroki is there for that, Saint Seiya has a new series on Netflix so we could see a character from that, and The Adventures of Dai is getting a new anime so we could see a new Adventures of Dai character considering that we only have Dai. Then the other two characters could be promoting things we just don't know about yet, but we'll know when they release. And finally, the last possibility that I think could happen is that Season 2 will be mixed with popular characters and characters no one asked for. I can't say it will entirely be filled with unpopular requests because Todoroki is a very popular request, so we could see a list like Todoroki and Jorno with three characters no one has even thought of, just like how we got Bisky and everyone was like, what the hell? It could happen again. Now I know all this sounds complicated and not assuring at all. Well, that's because it is. Let's just hope we get more than five characters and they actually look at what the fans are asking for. 
Let me know what you guys think. I want to thank you guys for watching. My name's Konjic, and I'll talk to you in the next video.